Good morning. In this video, we're doing multiplication and division of mixed numbers, but with word problems. So again, when you're working with word problems, you always want to read the word problem all the way through, determine what you're looking for, and then work the problem bit by bit. All right, so it says you just drove your car 425 miles and used 25 gallons of gas. You know that the gas tank on your car holds 16 and a half gallons of gas. What is the greater, greatest number of miles you can drive on one tank of gas? So I'm wanting to know the greatest number of miles I can drive on the one tank of gas. My one tank of gas being 16 and a half gallons. I also know that I drove my car 425 miles and used 25 gallons. So to find the number of gallons you can go, or the number of miles that you can go on a tank of gas, you're taking your miles per gallon and you're multiplying it times your number of gallons. That will equal your miles. First thing I have to do is determine what is my miles per gallon. And so it told me miles per gallon, my miles over my gallons. So 425 miles in 25 gallons gives me my MPG, or my miles per gallon. So if I take 425 divided by 25, that gives me 17 miles per gallon. And it tells me that my car's tank, gas tank holds 16 and a half gallons. So I want to know how far can I go if my, if my miles per gallon is 70 miles or 17 and I have 16 and a half gallons. I'm just multiplying. But the thing is, is remember that we cannot multiply by a mixed number. So we have to convert our mixed number to an improper fraction. So I'm going to do 16 times 2, or 2 times 16, which is 32, plus 1, which gives me 33 over 2. I also have to take and write my 17, my whole number, as, a mixed, or as an improper fraction, which would make it 17 over 1. Now, nothing reduces, and I'm going to go ahead and do this on the calculator to kind of save time. 17 times 33, and I get 561 over 2, because 1 times 2 is 2. Now, how many miles can I go? So I'm going to take the 561, and I'm going to divide it by 2. So 2 goes into 5 2 times. 4. Subtract, I get 1, bring down my 6. 2 goes into 16 8 times. 2 times 8 is 16. That's a 0, so I bring down this 1. And I have 1 left over, so 28 is my whole. Oh wait, I did that wrong. Well, not completely wrong. I just didn't finish it. So, 2 won't go into 1, so I put a 0 there. And I don't have anything to bring down. So 280 is my whole number. That's my whole number of miles. My remainder is I have a 1 left over. So I can go 280 and 1 half miles. 280 and 1 half miles is the greatest number of miles I can go on 16 and a half gallons of gas. All right, let's look at the second word problem. It says it takes Barry seven and three-fourths hours to detail a car. If he worked 93 hours during the week, how many cars did he detail? At 93 hours, I hope he worked seven days, or at least six. I hope he worked seven. But it says that, you know, we want to know how many cars did he detail. He worked 93 hours. And it takes him seven and three-fourths hours to detail a car. So I'm going to divide 
because it would be seven and three fourths hours for each car. So seven and three fourths hours times the number of cars would equal the number of hours he worked. Or I can take the number of hours he worked and divide it by seven and three fourths to get the number of cars that he detailed. So again, with division, they have to be in proper fractions. So I'm gonna make my 93 over one. I'm gonna leave it division because I gotta convert the seven and three fourths. Seven times four is 28 plus three, 31 over four. And I'm going to do my KFC, my keep, flip, and change. So I'm going to keep the 93 over 1, change my division and multiplication, and flip my 31 over 4, making it 4 over 31. So if I look at my denominator 31, if I was to multiply it by 3, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 3 is 9, I'm going to get 93. So I know 31 will go into 31 one time, and 31 will go into 93 three times. So then I have 3 times 4 over 1 times 1, so just 12 cars. He did 12 cars in that week. Those would have to be filthy cars to take seven and three fourths hours to detail it. They must have been pickup trucks and they must have been on a farm. Only way I can justify it. Right, and that concludes this video.